don't even the most pretty Christmas tree I'd ever seen. You don't. I'm a grand patissy fit when I can't succeed. How's the guitar, man? I guess this is like where all the guitars like live. It's where they're like raised and stuff, I assume, right? Something like that. I would assume that's how that works. I mean, yeah. guitars just don't come out of nowhere. Well, that was a good one. A Squire Mini. Comes with free lessons. Check this amp out, man. This is like, this is the most full stack I've ever seen. This Look. stack is so full. Look at how small my hand is when I go to turn it on. That's how full this stack is. <laughs> Holy sh I'm gonna throw up on stage tonight. <laughs> Was this there could be multiple pounds of potatoes in here. <laughs> so, several potatoes yeah, were killed in the making of this plate. Going back to Brockport to have Jimmy Z's and um and, and the eat spot that, for the plates spot. when you're in New York. If you're not eating blue cheese with your buffalo sauced chicken, are you even from Western New York? Probably not. 100. Yeah, you want to see a real garbage plate? Oh yeah. That's a real garbage plate. Uh, a small barbecue garbage plate, but I got buffalo sauce instead. Why the buffalo sauce? That looks spicy. I love Blake on the edge. My exact words when I walk into this venue tonight, I'm like, I don't care how many people are in this room, like, this is the nicest stage I've ever played on. The sound guy got going and everything. I'm just like, oh my god, we made it, man. We made it. it was good, it was good, it was good. Oh, and the most important thing, transpose down one half step. Yeah. There we go. No, not for this one. We played in C sharp. But for bail, I have to transpose down one step. That's all that's in my head, baby. That mace right there. It's all old. <laughs> it's so I can't old. wait for this one. It's kind of going with like the gym class heroes, like you know, we're the bench warmers, we're the second string, we're the B team. This guy yeah. and me uh, have been jamming since we were about 14 or 15 years old. Yeah. We've all had like different projects together. It's been a wild road. Yeah. Our resident death metal guy, Peter. <laughs> This guy's new. Yeah, I'm not in the band. He's, he's, he's in the band. He's our lead guitar player. He also got me into death metal like Cannibal Corpse. Make sure when you edit this video, it's as awkward as it is right now because this guy should not be in a pop punk band or a rock band. No, not at all. But he's my best friend. These are all my best friends. Absolutely. Oh, that was sticker. sticker. Oh, I got a sticker. You got a sticker. Get out of here. My turn. <laughs> no, sticker. sticker. You, got, you got a sticker still. Did you okay, grab a sticker? Did you grab a sticker? No. Oh, that was not sticker. Yeah, sticker. 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 Yeah. Do I do it? Yeah, go right ahead. Here we go. Wait a minute. Sticker. Tiger. Oh, Get that CD. I had so much fun. I've been watching Atticus Finch shows my whole life. So playing a, a, an Atticus Finch show in Rochester was just like, yeah, so much fun. And uh, thank, you. thank you for coming up on Scrubs, man. I've always known, I've known the words since I was 13 years old. Atticus Pitch for Life 2020 is going to be bigger than ever. 2025 is going to be bigger than that. We're going for it. Sounds good, man. Are you going to be at the 25 year reunion? I'm I'll be there. I've already repeated already. <laughs>
It's good to be back with the boys. You know, we're, we're kind of reliving our childhood, hearing these songs that are eight, nine, 10, 11 years old. It's just crazy, man. You used to be a Rochester boy? I spent a couple years here. It feels good to be back. We had some old friends come out. The sound was great. Chops was a good dude. We got to move around a little bit tonight, which uh, is always fun for us. What does it mean you to do this? Dude, come on, you know me by now. You know how I am. It's a sign of it's good to Brandon, be back. hold on! I can hear you. Sorry. It's good to be back with the. <laughs> Actually, seeing Atticus Finch play like a legit uh, show, two of them now, it's actually been a lot of fun. Thank you guys for coming out, man. Let me do this for sure. Honestly, the first time seeing you guys tonight was incredible. I'm on one of your songs, and now to be in the presence of you guys, it's great. I what? feel like. Wait, 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 hey, hey. You have not seen these guys play yet? I have not met these guys until tonight, and I'm on one of five their albums. Years. It's been five years since the album came out, and this dude's got credits on it. I walked in, and I was like, hey, man, I know your voice. That's amazing. So it really was surreal to be here and just uh, take the scent. Just did everything I could to, to make the most out of, out of my college years, and then going back to Brockport to have Jimmy Z's. To come back here years later and play the music that we worked so hard on and show it to the people that, you know, like, it sounds weird, but like, you guys believed in, in everything, just like I believed in you guys back in school. Oh, so yeah, it means the absolutely. world to have you guys there. Even over yet, and I'm already glad I did the tour, dude. I was I was so sad when I missed it the first time. I'm watching the fans. I'm playing with the bands. We're in the hotels. I'm watching the content brigade. I'm part of the content brigade now, man. It's awesome. I'm super pumped to be part of the tour. Super pumped, man. It's gonna be lit and hurt from tomorrow, man. I'm pretty sure we are going to have the biggest turnout that we've ever had at the Polish Club, and I think they know what to expect, but I hope they bought enough UC for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> 